Captain. Right there. Right there. Okay, here's a couple of re- revenge stories. Um, all right, Bill saw you at the Stress Factory. You're the only white guy I've paid to see there. Great. Uh, thank you. I think. I love when black guys say that. You know, you're the funniest white boy I've seen. Uh, thanks. Usually, I think you guys suck. Yeah, just openly. Oh, shit. Somebody dropped the fucking N-word. First time. First time this year somebody dropped the N-word to me after one of my shows. You guys ever see that bit I did about being in Nashville? And that guy dropped the the N-word out of fucking nowhere. And he didn't even look around. He said it like he was saying the word like chair or something. And I got all fucking panicked and I didn't know what to do. Every once in a while that happened to me in Tennessee. Nashville, Tennessee. Raleigh, North Carolina. And now uh, Tampa. This is all over the last like four years. So this time uh, was after one of my shows. This dumb broad who wouldn't shut the fuck up the whole show. And she kept standing up and she had blonde hair that was sort of like a short haircut. And so she ended up looking like Glenn Close in The Natural. She kept standing up. And uh, so at the end of the show, she had to come out to me. No, listen, you're not there. You're not there. I think you're funny. She's all fucking drunk. I'm like, okay, sweetheart. Okay. And like, you know, I'm selling my DVDs. And as she would go to the left of the table, I would go around to the right. You know, and then she'd go to the right, I'd go to the left. I'm basically keeping a piece of furniture in between us because, you know, those fucking girls, when they get drunk and they come up with that red wine breath, it's fucking horrific, you know? So she comes up and, she, and I'm like, okay, 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 I'm glad, I, I get it. You had a good time. You weren't trying to disrupt the show, even though I told you to shut the fuck up 15 times. I get it. She goes, no, you don't understand, you don't understand. You, you're one of my favorite comedians. I like you and I like Cat Williams, even though he's a... N word. <laughs> I just looked at her. I go, Did you just say? And then she looked at me. I go, All right, you have a good night. And I just walked away. That's my new thing I do. The first time, when it first used to happen, I used to kind of stare at the floor with my eyebrows up, not looking at them, like, Okay, what the fuck? This is really happening. And then I went through this middle phase of trying to uh, change the person's views trying to tell them why they shouldn't say it, and I realized that's a fucking waste of time. You know what I mean? Like, I, like you have to, like, fuck... I mean, this. it's like the person was, like, 14 or 15 saying it, and they had hope. This person was, like, pushing 40. It's over, you know? That's like the yeah, fucking America right now. We think we're going to go into Iraq and drop some fucking Starbucks and cheesecake factories over there, and those people are going to stop. It's over. They're, not, they, they're, they're doing what the fuck they're doing. They don't like each other. And we should let them just fucking work it out. So I just look at those. I just Now I just go like, I, I just clarify what they say. Did you just say this? And they either say yes or just look at me. And I just walk away from them. Uh, so I walk away. And then I'm talking to somebody else. And then all of a sudden she comes staggering up again. No, wait, wait. You don't understand. You, you don't understand. And I said, ma'am, I'm done talking to you. Seriously, I'm done talking to you. Walk away. So, um. I don't know. I know she's going to wake up this morning and I'm going to be the asshole. I had a couple of those. I have a lot of problems with women down here in Tampa. I had another girl. Uh, she was just drunk and pissed. She comes walking up to the table. Wait, wait, you fucking selling a fucking DVD? I got to fucking buy one. You already fucking have it. And I'm just like, ma'am, you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. What the fuck? My fucking husband wants me to fucking buy a fucking DVD. So... And then she was doing that whole thing, coming around to the back. One thing, if I can just establish one thing I would love to establish after my shows is if somehow I could get people to respect the other side of the table. You know? I don't mind people come around. They want to take a picture. But the people who come around, people who, who you don't mind coming up to you, never come up to you. They all walk out the door. And then they send you a text. I was going to say hi, but I was shy. Sorry. But the fucking drunks who come up with spittle coming out of their mouth. They just, they got to walk right up to your face. What's that Seinfeld? The close talkers? That's what they end up doing. I don't even remember what to, I'm, you know, I'm not even drinking. I can't even remember what the fuck happened last night because it's high voltage tower. I don't know. She just kept coming up to me and she kept cursing. I'm like, all right, lady. All right. And she goes, no, no, I'm sorry. You come over here and hug me. It's like, no, get away from me. And then she starts putting her fucking hands on me, you know, and it's just like, you know something, you fucking twat. I don't want you fucking touching me right now. 
Okay, but you don't give a shit because you're a woman and I'm a guy and this and it's okay for you to do that. It's not considered anything. If I do it to you, it's fucking some sort of harassment. Right? It's your fucking it's your fucking drunk ass hands off of me. You you you're you're a sloppy mess. Get away from me. You know what I'm gonna do? I want to put I want to put my hand right on her fucking forehead. You know? And right as she reached up to fucking remove my hand, I gave her that little uh to her head, make that head snap back a little bit. And as Right as it was registering that I made her head snap back, I would then, like like Chuck Norris, swiftly move to the exact opposite side of the tables. Because then I know, I know she'd get mad and then start flailing. Oh my god, you just fucking slapped me in the fucking head! Yes, I did, you drunk cunt. Buy a DVD or don't buy a DVD. But don't fucking, you know, come up and start fucking cursing me out. I'm not telling you you gotta buy the thing. You fucking twat. Beat it. All right. So I got one more show here in Tampa. 